Welcome back to Travel Studios. I'm Carson. And I'm Sophie. We begin this week's episode with a review of our student body spring breaks. We interview record-breaking runners on sports. Next, on Face of WHS, we continue to look at Willard alumni. Have you ever wanted to learn how to draw? Well, our last segment is just for you. And as always, thank you for watching Tribal, Tribal Studios. Studios. What is the best spring break trip you've ever been on? I went to Mars with Libby K. Swag. What is the best spring break you've ever been on? That one time my mom got cold and then we just went to New Mexico out of nowhere. Swag. What is your favorite spring break that you've ever been on? Um, one time me and my whole family went down to Alabama, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and we rented a big house on the beach. And it was really fun. What was the best spring break trip you've ever been on? Well, that would be this year because I went on a cruise to the Western Caribbean with Miss Foster and Miss Bear over spring break this year. Um, breaking the record felt good. We came into the race knowing that we were going to break the record by a big margin and uh, hopefully there's more records to be broken later this year. During the race I was just thinking, um, stay a little calm. Um, you know, my legs already felt good uh, earlier in the day and I got three other teammates that um, have strong legs and so we were going to dominate that race regardless. Um, I plan on uh, breaking the 4 by 8 record with my three teammates later this year, hopefully winning state in that event. How did it feel to break the school's DMR record? Well, it was a lot of fun to do it with my teammates, to go out there and uh, race against all the other good competition that we had. Respect those guys for putting in hard work to go out there and be able to compete with us the way they did. What was I thinking during the race? During the race, I was thinking of um, just trying to catch the next guy. Even though we were in first, I was like trying to like imagine like a guy was in front of me to go after because that always helps to get a better lead. What do I plan on doing next? Next, I plan on uh, well, we plan on like taking our four by eight team and like going after the school record for that too, and like beating that because we're definitely capable of it, and we put in a lot of hard work over the off season and like the last few years. So this is what we've been working for, and we want to go get it. In honor of Willard Centennial, we will be looking back at teachers that graduated from Willard. Next up is Brandon Compton. Um, I decided to become a teacher at Willard uh, because Willard is a place where I, um, I learned what was important to me. So I learned um, the power of stories and the power of stories to connect people and to change people. And so I wanted to be a part of what was happening here at Willard, particularly um, in the theater department. I had some really incredible teachers in high school. Um, Melissa Troxell, Kendra Chapel, Mark Lawley, Renee Flatness, Melissa Gargas. Um, I had so many wonderful teachers that um, helped to shape me into who I am, who taught me about um, big ideas and worlds that were bigger than me and um, just showed me that the world is such a big, beautiful, loving place, um, and that I have the power to be a uh, change in that. Hi guys, welcome.
welcome back to Sophie and Emma's how to. This is Sophie's replacement because she's right. not here. But pretty much what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna teach you guys how to draw. Yeah. So me and Kylie are pretty much, this is Kylie. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> we're pretty much just gonna draw each other and I guess we're gonna walk you through the way. How to do it. <laughs> and now, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 